Hello all you lovely people online. Today I'm going to show you how to do your own custom CSS in Divi. So first off we have our website here made by some guy who seems to be really into whales and the movie Free Willy. Kind of a weird obsession I will say. Guy kind of has some issues. He should really get that checked out. But I'm going to be a nice good old lad so let's help the guy out. So we're going to go into the visual builder in Divi. We'll load in here. Now there are two ways to add in custom CSS on a Divi site. I'll show you first how to do it within a module. So we're going to go down into the module we want to edit. We'll choose this module here. We're going to go into the advanced tab here and click custom CSS. Now you'll have some options of what you can do before, main element, and after. Before and after are meant to be basically things you want to add that will appear before or after the module. But for here, I'm just going to do main element. Now for some people that, who probably aren't really that familiar with CSS, we are going to do a brief little crash course here on CSS. So let's say, well, change the text color. We do color and then red. There we go. We now have bright red text here, which is frankly quite hideous. We won't have that, but we can have that now if we want. Now there are other things we can do as well with our CSS, like say margin left. Let's have that be 20 pixels. Eh, that seems nice, but let's make it 20%. There we go. Again, also looking hideous. Now, you might also notice some of the things I'm doing here, you can do yourself with like the colors in like a text in the design tab here in Divi. So you might be wondering, why would you do this? Well, it's because some things you can only really do with custom CSS. Divi is great, but it does have some limitations. Like a good example, if we were to go into the scroll arrow down here, which you may recognize from a previous video, if we were to go into the custom CSS, this animation direction alternate, this makes it so that when we uh, load into the page here, we'll just exit the visual builder, we'll save, with that uh, alternating for the animation direction, that makes it so that the animating arrow will keep just bobbing, making sure to have a nice uh, up and down bobbing animation. But uh, yeah, that's the main way on how to do custom CSS within a module. I'm gonna show you how to do it within the code module itself. Cause Divi has its own module dedicated just to code. So I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm just gonna have a uh, add a new row, we'll just do this, and we're gonna use the code module. Now with uh, the code, a little crash course into HTML as well. In order to do your own custom CSS in the code module, you're gonna to need to do these style tags like you would in HTML. So you do an angle bracket, style, close that angle bracket, it automatically makes the closing label, and now you have your style section. Now before, we only really changed the color for a just a single uh, paragraph, this paragraph up here. But what if we want to do it so that every paragraph in the page can have its own like color? Well, do that in CSS. First we do P, which in HTML, P is meant to be like a paragraph tag. So we'll do P, we'll do an uh, curly brackets, hit enter, and now we can do whatever CSS we want and it will affect every paragraph on this page. So again, let's do color red. Now, all of the paragraphs have red coloring. Maybe we can do something more. Let's do margin left and set it to say 50%. There we go. And again, there we go. It's all on the left now. Nice and good. But now also you're probably wondering as well, what if you want to mess with specific uh, objects though? Well, let's go into this uh, picture here. Let's go into advanced and set the ID to Willy. We'll set it to Willy for the ID. Let's go and find the custom CSS. Let's see. There we go. Here it is. We'll hit settings for that module. And now in here, for an ID, 
you would do pound sign and then the name of your ID, in this case, Willy. Just to really mess with this, let's do margin top to be, I don't know, 50% baby. Let's see how that looks. Ah oh, yeah, it looks horrible. But hey, I can do this with my own custom CSS now. But also you might be thinking, can you add in just other things as well? Oh yes, you can actually. Let's do an HTML tag for a paragraph. Let's do P. We now have our paragraph and then I'll put in something pretty cool here. Like, I don't know, gotta, as I misspell gotta, gotta catch M all. There it is. And as you can see also again, the style we applied here with the red coloring and the 50% margin for the left margin applies to this also because it has the paragraph tag. Now that there is beautiful. And my right. Now again, the code that I'm doing here is not that pretty looking with bright red text that's all pushed to the right. Now again, like the main purpose I'm doing with this isn't to show you how to make the ugliest website. The reason why I'm making it so stand out so much is to show you the power of what you can do with just code. And these coding tabs are really useful for us to make whatever code we want. Like I'm just doing CSS here and a little bit of HTML, but you can also do JavaScript. In fact, again, as shown in a previous video, I did use JavaScript for some of the code. We have all of this code here with the scroll. All of this allows the scroll arrow to scroll down to each section on this website. And yeah, that's the power of programming with Divi here, people. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have yourself a lovely day.